So I look at example three here, and I see that integral of e to the three x, and I see the e to the six x in the denominator. And I'm, I'm looking here, and I see that you can write that e to the six x is e to the three x quantity squared. So then I see a function, and then the derivative of e to the 3x would be e to the 3x times 3. And I see the e to the 3x up here. So I want to use a u substitution here. u equals e to the 3x. And then my du is going to be 3 e to the 3x. And so let's multiply by 3 and then uh, compensate outside by multiplying by 1 third. Then I will have uh, 1 third and then here's my du. So this will be integral du up top and in the denominator 16 minus u squared. And then I see that 16 minus u squared will factor as 4 plus u, 4 minus u. So I'm thinking that we want to do partial fraction decomposition on that. So now I've got uh, 1 over 16 minus u squared. And I'm going to break that up as a over 4 minus u plus b over 4 plus u. So now we're going to uh, multiply through by our LCD, which is 4 plus u, 4 minus u. Let's give ourselves a little bit more room on the left-hand side. So then uh, 4 minus u, 4 plus u, will cancel the 16 minus u squared there, so we get a 1. Uh, we're going to multiply that whole quantity in times each term here. So here the 4 minus u's will cancel. We'll be left with a times 4 plus u plus um, when we multiply in here, the 4 plus u's will cancel. We'll have b times 4 minus u. So now we want to pick values of u to substitute in and get our equations. Uh, so how about uh, u equals 4. We'll have a 1 on the left hand side. Uh, this will be 8a. And then 4 minus 4, 0. This term will drop out. So that means that our a is going to be 1 8. And then u equals negative 4. That's the other 0 for the denominator. Get a 1 on the left hand side. 4 plus negative 4, 0. So that first term drops out. 4 minus negative 4, 8. So 1 equals 8b. And so b is also 1 8. And let's go ahead and bring this down a little bit. Give ourselves a little more room. So now we've got that one third out in front, and this will be now integral uh, one eighth over four minus u, one eighth over four plus u. And du. So that common one eighth, uh, we can factor that out in front with the one third. So this will now be one twenty fourth, and then we've got integral one over four minus u uh, du, and then plus integral one over four plus u du.
So this one looks like uh, here's a function on the bottom. It's derivative 1 on the top. So that's g prime over g. So that's going to be a natural log. And then here, um, the function on the bottom, the derivative would be negative 1 on the top. So we can multiply by negative 1 inside the integral and then compensate with a negative 1 outside the integral. So you get a negative there. And this now is also g prime over g. So we've got 1 24th. Got that negative outside. And g prime over g. So we integrate g prime over g. We get log of absolute value of the denominator. So natural log absolute 4 minus u. And then plus, again, g prime over g. So natural log of the denominator, uh, absolute 4 plus u. And then plus constant. And then uh, here we've got subtraction outside the log. So that's going to be division inside. Uh, this will be our numerator. And the subtracted one will be our denominator. So we can rewrite this as 1 uh, natural log, absolute value, and then uh, numerator, 4 plus u, and denominator, 4 minus u. And again, uh, plus constant because it's an indefinite integral. And again, this is uh, <coughs> division. Subtraction outside is division inside. And now we just have to reverse our substitution. Uh, u is e to the 3x. So this will be 1 24th natural log absolute value for plus e to the 3x over 4 minus e to the 3x. And we do need our absolute values there, plus c, uh, because this denominator could go negative. Numerator is always positive, though. So two methods here again. Uh, we had a u substitution followed by partial fractions.